We are locked in at the Detroit Auto Show. While this looks like it's simply a uh, gaming setup, trust me, this thing is controlling an M1 E3 prototype. I've got a, an engineer with the U.S. Army. So first off, this tank is really getting a lot of attention here. Tell me real quick about it. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, like I said, the M1 E3 early prototype. It's the next evolution of the Abrams tank built to modernize for the future battlefield. This gamepad's totally customizable, but as a guy who I'm sure you've served for quite some time. I mean, what what is it like seeing how things have modernized so much that now we've got a gaming controller operate like you can operate the tank with this? Yeah, absolutely. It's exciting because of the ability for us to change things on the fly, to modernize, to meet the tempo of the battlefield has never been greater, and this is all enabling that future space. We also were able to catch up with a colonel who uh, really went into detail about just how interesting and uh, awesome this thing can truly be. Well, the objective of this tank was to do reduced crew, so we're down to three, so it's a remote turret with all the tech that we can infuse that we could go by today, so no new science on this, right? We're looking at new cameras, compute, uh, digital link to the cloud, other vehicles that we'll be able to tie into. The Colonel's message to gamers. A gaming environment is interesting, but you join the Army, I'll show you what the power of a 120 millimeter smoothbore direct fire weapon system can do. I'm told that I am the first civilian type uh, journalist to actually get a look at this thing. Uh, maybe it's because of my gaming prowess here, but uh, this really is just a Fanatec controller that anybody could go out there and buy and uh it's pretty sweet, to be honest. Really interesting stuff to see here at the Detroit Auto Show. For now, reporting in Detroit, Scott Walchek, Fox 2 News.